What was catching your eye with regard to the big storylines? I know that I'm watching guys like Xander Shoffley and John Rahm. Well, first of all, good morning, Dom, and happy Father's Day to you. Happy early Father's Day to you, all the fathers out there. And listen, I'm not as big as a golf aficionado like you or other people at CNBC, but I tell you, it's the feud. It's the feud between Bryson and Brooksy. That's what's catching my eye. That's, as a viewer, what's going to keep me coming back in, tuning in. If I got Game 7s on Sunday between the NBA games, I'm going to be tuning in, also looking at some hockey. So it's those feuds. You know, for a long time, I think people have this misconception that maybe golfers don't have the best personality. But when I see stuff like this, that engages me as a viewer because I'm a new age viewer i want to see the back and forth i want to see the rumbling and that's what i saw so far brooksy is holding up his end of the bargain he's what fifth right now it's only a first round but i want to see bryson get back up there he had a, a, a bad day uh, to the open uh but listen if these two guys are amongst the finals on sunday it can only mean great things for the pga tour it sounds so terrible to say jabari but one of the best things for the game and industry of golf was the virus pandemic. It brought so many more people in. It was an outdoor activity that was socially distanced by nature. A lot more people started playing, and then a lot more people started watching golf. I wonder if you think that yeah. this particular, that the feud, that the, the interpersonal dynamic between Bryson DeChambeau and Brooks Kepka, the, the, the rolling eyes at, at Kiowa, the, the jumping up to photobomb during his interview that we just saw there. Do you think that it's overall good to bring that many more kind of conflicts to the game? Do you think it brings eyeballs? Absolutely, it brings out. But listen, we're talking about it right now, right? You turn on all the, uh, the highlights across other networks. You see that this is one of the storylines that they're talking about. And remember, they got this player initiative pool that if you bring more interest and viewers to the sport, you get a piece of that $40 million that they put up. So golf knows what they're doing. This is great for the sport. And again, you get those young viewers back. Tiger's no way around to be found right now. I mean, listen, he, he's recovering. We hope to see him back on the course. But while he's out there, while he's still recovering, you can't help but to like stuff like this and then you got the match coming up between Tom Brady Aaron Rodgers you know Brooks is going to be in there and then Phil so excuse me not Brooks but Bryson's going to be in there and then Phil so I think that's going only going to help the engagement but this is definitely good for the PGA Tour I'm tuned in I'm going to be looking back and forth normally I may not be the biggest U.S. Open fan but this weekend they're going to have some of my eyeballs they're going to have some of my time how, how much also is this about I mean Jabari you and I both know this golf has been seen throughout its history as an elitist sport, right? It's closed off to so many people, yet in the past 10 or 20 years, governing bodies like the USGA, the PGA Tour, the PGA of America, the Royal and Ancient out on the European side of things, have taken massive steps to try to open up this game to more people. Do you feel as though seeing the US Open play on a municipal golf course venue. I've played it. You can go up there. You can play it as a, as a non-resident, anything else out there. Do you think these public venues bring a little bit more relativity for those folks out there and opens up the game to so many more participants? Well, you know, listen, I've never been to Torrey Pines before, and I wish I was reporting to you live from Torrey Pines. Uh, but you, I, I can't say how it's going to hurt the game. You know, I don't know if it's necessarily going to help it, but it can't hurt it. What's going to help the game is that PGA Tour continues to do things like they're doing with with the, the, the great broadcast that they have. I mean, listen, the the, the AR uh, type AR augmented reality uh, when you see how far the bat the ball is traveling and uh, at, at the speed. I mean, stuff like that is only going to help engagement because the viewer, the TV viewer, is still what makes sports. And if you have a viewer locked in, I think it can only help the sport. Whether going to the, the course or open it up publicly, I, don't, I have no idea. I remember when the U.S. Open came to the Philadelphia area years ago when I was a young pup. And I didn't appreciate it at that time. That's when Tiger was still in his prime. But I saw the many people that it brought out. And I was, like, really fascinated with how many things was blocked off and how many people was engaged with it. So I don't think it was, was going to hurt. But what's going to help is, again, you see those personalities come to light. And if you see those personalities, people are going to follow the sport. And that can only mean more viewership and more money for the PGA Tour. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.